legendary yogi, beloved friends. You know who are the people who have enjoyed life to the full extent? Those people who have worked very hard. But that hard work was not at all that hard work because they choose a profession which was their obsession, which was their passion, which was their love, where they have a burning desire and consuming obsession. So they never find it is very difficult and very hard work. But for the outsider, it must be very, very hard work. Because all the great people did so much of sacrifice to attain greatness. They even take a lot of risk. They even stake their existence for the fulfillment of their vision and dreams. Maybe remembering that a lot of people when they were trying to conquer Mount Everest, they were trapped in the avalanches and died, but there were very few like changing Sarpa and Norway, they were only successful. A lot of people also tried to fly in there like birds and died in that effort, but it was only the great Wright brothers who were crowned with success. But don't worry, risk must be taken. Work hard and hard and hard. This is only the way that you can really attain any greatness in life. Without hard work, nothing is possible. That says one of the great teacher of all time, Dr. Napoleon Hill and Andrew Carnegie. The world is for the men to conquer and the rule. There is the glory of such great man. But its rules are very stringent. The man must fulfill all the conditions and circumstances to attain the dreams and desires, aspirations, hopes of her life or his life. No pain, no gain. Without putting your best, without sacrificing a lot, you cannot attain success. Success is achieved. Who is determined, committed, strong-headed, believing in the God-gifted power of the mind, comprehending that defeats, adversities and failures will also come, but always improving upon their practical plan of action, seeking the advice of the best brains, ready to go extra mile, doing much more than what is required, with tremendous capacity for applied faith, open-minded, Believing that everything is possible, what a man has done, we can do more than that because nobody has exceeded the intelligence level of application, hardly 7 to 89 percent brain power was used. The intricate and accurate machine which God gifted to the mankind has unlimited capacity. There is no limitation, there is no boundary, there is no barriers. Simply. The limitation lies in the dreaming, desiring, aspiring, not dreaming, love to dreams, not thinking beyond the box. So come on, what I mean to say. The more you work hard, the better is the chance of your glorious moments in life. A gentleman wrote a book as a man thinketh and that is telling achievements and there is defining they are always cause and effect. As you sow, so you shall reap. There is also law of karma. And there are two things in every human affairs. Efforts and results. The mighty strength of your effort will be accurately measuring the degree of your results. If you are really interested to become very, very great, you have to sacrifice maximum, you have to work very, very hard. But the criteria being that you love it, otherwise you cannot continue the journey. You will quit. I said, my best friend is Steve Jobs. If you don't love, you will quit because it's very, very painful. Take the example of Vishnu Vishesh. We are the parents of that promising Chinese tragedy, Vishnu Vishesh. Dr. Vandana Jha from IT Kharapur and uh, Virendra 
dear from Almighty Krakow, both from Almighty Krakow. We planned our daughter to be the world best tennis champion, but a lot of ifs and buts, a lot of injury, a lot of hurdles, reverses, adversities, misfortune. And both Vandana and Virendra, they are undergoing Herculean task. Sorrow, suffering, grief, adversity, misfortune, heartaches, headaches, glooms, darkness all are surrounding us. But we see light at the other side of the tunnel because we are educated, we are enlightened, as said Buddha. If today you are struggling very hard, honestly, sincerely, and you are really interested in becoming what you want to be, you will become one day. But rely on the power of mind. Mind is everything. You become what you think about. My best friend, guru and guide, Earl Langel, studied a lot more philosophy and came to conclusion. They change a secret there also. He said, we are going to become what we think about. You are going to become what you think about. We become what we think about. So, beloved friends, think big, dream big, desire big. Cherish your vision, cherish your music. There is the desire that stirs your heart and the love is the drive in your mind. And the beauty that really reverberates in your conscience permanently, perennially. What has become a dominant thought in your mind and you are willing to sacrifice everything to get what you want. But patiently wait and everything will come to you. As said my best friend Benjamin Disraeli, this is the greatest discovery of my generation. And I have come after a lot of meditation and contemplation that a human being with subtle purpose must accomplish it. And nothing can resist the will which is ready to stake even existence for its fulfillment. I repeat it. Everything will come to you if you patiently wait for that. But keep on working, doing justice to your goal and ambition and desires. I brought myself by long meditation to the conclusion that a human being with subtle purpose must accomplish it and nothing can resist the will which is willing to stake even existence for the fulfillment of the dream. And then came suddenly one brave heart, my best friend, George Vanarso, and he said, Hey man, don't blame conditions and circumstances. You are the master of your fate and you are only the captain of your soul. You are only literally what you think. Your character is made up of your thoughts. You are only responsible for every condition and circumstances. As you think, your thought will be manifested in every condition and circumstances. If you are brave, you are faithful, you are loyal, you are committed, you are dedicated, then a very favorable and very supporting circumstances you are going to create it. So, by virtue of your thought, you create your conditions and circumstances. And your mind remains the master power than most and max. So, dear friends, what I mean, what Dr. Jiri Krishna Reddy, the Padma Bhushan said to me, man is born to work very hard. And these hardworking men only really change the fortunes of the mankind. The inventions, the discoveries, the new glorious moments which every human being enjoying today. It was not available to even the kings and the queens and every great people and princes and monarchs. But ordinary pedestrian also, they are moving with cell phone. They have food, shelter and clothes everywhere because of the invention and discoveries in every area and every callings. The scientists have really done so much in agriculture, in aviation, in technology, electronics, in industry, everywhere, you see. We all are enjoying the beautiful blessings of the science and technology. They are very hardworking. They have transmitted their sexual desire into their action of war. They love working harder more than what anybody enjoys sex. That's why Napoleon Hill described the power of sex transmutation, the same enthusiasm, the same energy, the same enthusiasm, never tiring and tiring efforts. That's why the people have become so great. And as my best friend and guru, Ramina Tagore wrote, where the mind is without fear and hell is a die, but knowledge is free. And where untiring efforts stretches its arm toward perfection. That is the line I want to say from this, where the mind is without fear. Untiring efforts 
which stretches its arm to our perfection. Want to be great? You will become. But work very hard. <laughs> harder. Harder. <laughs> Take risk. Commit, dedicate passionately. Be ready to shed. Blood, toil, tears and sweat. What my best friend Winston Churchill said. Never allow fear and doubt to haunt you because fear and doubt will erode all your faith and belief and courage and conviction. Wherever there is fear and doubt, procrastination, inhibition, agitation, depression, discouragement, there is no hope that you will be successful. Throw it off. Believe in your capacity of the mind power and your commitment and dedication and your plan in your companion who are going to help you. The mastermind is one's partner and your ability to attain what you want, your self-confidence, self-reliance, self-discipline, <coughs> your commitment, your devotion of full measure. You are going to be what you want to be. Hurry, you are going to be what you want to be. You will be what you want to be. But be not impatient in delay. And those who understand when his spirit rises and commands, the gods are ready to obey. The human will that forces sunset. <laughs> Enjoy like me, man. I am supreme great man. My life is full of joys, happiness. I work hard, man. I'm a yogi. Work very hard. Love it. Because I will die on the day. When I work or become sharp or become idiot, bloody son of the bitch. I have to die one day. So I want to be son of the God. Just, just as I said, I am the son of the God. I do what my father teach me. So also I tell you, all the great men, they are my fathers, and I am son of every great man. Socrates, Aristotle, Plato, Abraham Lincoln, Steve Jobs, Hawking, Einstein, Newton. Count as many as you want. I belong to everybody breed. The breed of intellectual giants. That son, the son of the great. Come on, commit yourself. I remember. We have no wings, we cannot soar. But we have feet to a scale and climb. By slow degrees and more and more, the cloud is some sort of time. Yes, we can do it. If you believe we can do That is very, very important. Because, you know, the world's battle don't always go. It was stronger the faster man. But sooner or late, the man who wins is the man who thinks one can. You can do it if you believe you can. So work very hard, have a dream, have a goal, have a purpose, have a mission, have an objective in your life and enjoy the journey. Don't worry for the destination. That's the way to success. May God bless you. Victory awaits you. Be happy. Always serene, calm, composite, steadfastly holding to inner conviction. Believing in yourself, the magical power of belief will create all the conditions, circumstances favorable for your success. Learn. Magic of believing by Claude Blisters. Think and grow rich by Napoleon Hill. Learn also from my guru and guide, Abraham Lincoln. Also from Andrew Carnegie. Also from all the great men. Because lives of great men all remind us we can make our life sublime and departing leave behind us footprints on the sense of time. Victory by virtue. Victory to you.